How we let this guy get on this podcast bro, and lie, yeah, he's bro? Just lying, Why are we bro. gonna let him lie? Why, Why are we gonna let lie? you lie, John? You know what? You know what really bothers me though is that you you like hint stuff like that, but never really want to talk about. It. That's the thing that really bothers me. Uh-huh. <laughs> You hint because stuff. You hint you, at you, stuff, you, you but ever don't heard the saying? You it. ever heard the saying? Don't talk about something good until it's it's good. So why are you bringing it up, nigga? Huh? I'm not talking about it. <laughs> you, you are. You, you just sat there and said I'm yeah. cuffed up, as but, if like we're not going to ask but, you what the fuck a, that means. Hey, you big nigga. I didn't elaborate. <laughs> I didn't elaborate. You know what I'm saying? I didn't and elaborate. we're asking you to elaborate. But, but if I'm you're not, not, that's why I'm messing up a good exactly, thing. Exactly. If you're not going to elaborate, why even bring it up? Just to let you guys know. I let me say I earned a million dollars. Of course, you want like, me to how figure did, out like how, how did you do it? No, don't ask me that, bro. Good, and don't you don't talk about nothing until a good thing happens. No, 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 no. Like, that's like saying I got a million dollar offer on the table, but I'm not gonna speak on all that until it's until it's. You know, I would still want to know how you got a million dollar offer, even if you don't sign it. I yeah, still yeah, yeah. want to know but how I'll you tell got you, it after it goes complete. <laughs> all right. After it's in my account, mm. I'll let you know. You feel me? Okay, John. I didn't touch the uh, F. FTB, buddy. You fuck, have to stop. Because no, somebody DM me and tell me what it meant. What, what does it mean? mean? Fade to black. So you, you were you're just that? clicking that. Uh, it, it was a fire transition, though. <laughs> they fought with it. Wait, John, you've been clicking a button that has a visual thing on your screen. You you couldn't tell what it did. Like when I, you clicked it, your screen went black. It, not exactly. Well, I thought that doesn't I make any sense because when you well, click it, no, it doesn't make sense because when you click it. It'll flash red like it's something that's concurrently on. Not like no, the screen clicking. did go black, but I thought I was just blinking for a long time. What the fuck <laughs> are you doing, John? What are you doing, John? Huh? What are you doing? I'm experimenting. I'm learning what John, my setup do. Not while we're live, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas experimenting. Yeah, so much time to experiment I right mean, before you, we you went live. Try your new moves. You practice in the game. It's game you time. You weren't practicing, not John. If I, if I don't know how the move is going to work. I'm not going to practice that live in the game. If yeah, coach, if a, coach subbed you in, bro. And like that's why that's why I'm Kobe and you Derek Fisher. Okay, Kobe practices. No, you just don't know what you're talking about. Kobe just bring it out. You know what I'm saying? No, he snake practice. Kobe didn't practice it. Kobe didn't practice none of that. He just like you think Kobe thought about the feel of the game. You think Kobe didn't practice windmill dunks on niggas in practice? Yes, yes. It's just that mentality in me. I just knew that it was going to make the podcast special. Your mentality. It's that mom and me low. Fuck these bitches. Fade to black. Look at that. Look at that mom being me low. You don't know when I'm going to attack you low. That's the type of nigga I am. Hey, John, what kind of house do you want to live in, like, in, like when it's set? Um, uh, I was well, watching. I want, I want an indoor basketball this. court. You, you want, want a basketball court? Indoor basketball court? court? Indoor basketball court. Indoor basketball court. Like, how big? Half court, full court? Half, half court. Okay. Half court. I don't need a full court. You know, in California, that's the only place where, like, if you don't have a pool in your backyard, especially in the South, South California... Like, it actually depreciates the house. Like, it's almost like a standard in South California for you to have a pool in your backyard. I'm going to get me a little inflatable hot tub, my like brother. In Atlanta, like, it doesn't really do... It may it may increase a little bit, but it don't really do much of anything. And, and a pool Buc- is cool, but I don't swim that much. I don't... Yeah, I wouldn't want a pool either. And like, and I got to do all that maintenance. Yeah, it is, yeah, bro. It it's a is. lot I of have a basketball court. Especially if you have trees around your pool, bro. And, or or, or you, can, you, you can go, like, um, you can do a salt pool. So you can clean it with, like, um, pool salt and stuff like that. But yeah, like the chlorine and all the other like, yeah, like, it's like chemicals you have I mean, to put I mean, if I had a pool, now. I would use it. But it's like, I don't swim that much. Like, it would just be just a nice add-on to the house. Like some blush. Stop, John. When, when that's you're, not an add-on. That's, this is a whole flood of feature to the house. That's like, it just makes the house look It's such better. a big flex that uh, yeah, it is, a big in, flex. Yeah. in Buckhead, Dill, like, you know how I had them, the signs that you put in the grass when you want to sell a house? Yeah. On the bottom, there'll be a flap that says, large backyard, big enough for a pool. So people know, like, when you buy this house, you know you could put a pool in it. Yeah. It's a big-ass backyard we got back there. Nah, that's a sick-ass um, <laughs> uh, real estate agent. Like, man, this, this backyard big enough for a pool. So put a pool in it, huh, Mr. Johnson? And this is this has to be the most important information as it relates to the house because I'm going to put a flap on. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> real estate agents for rich people are like, they just get off anything because they know for a fact they can just stroke their ego. Like, they already, like if you're a rich person, a wealthy you're looking for a, a huge house, so you just want your yeah. ego stroked. If I'm a real estate agent, bro, I'm gonna stroke you. I'm stroking the. F- you are stroking right. everybody, right, Low? Yeah, you would stroke the fuck out of everybody. I'm stroking I'm the sh- fuck out of you. Both no hands. Cap. All right, well, I know. Both I know hands. You I'm like, my man, feet. you want you want you want to you want to you want to pull, right? Well, you you got enough money for a pool, right? I don't want to make no assumptions. You know, that's actually the that's <laughs> been the process with me and and real and but houses I'm getting is not really big, um, where you. You so like when you're thinking about getting a house, you'll be like, all right, I want to get a house for two hundred thousand, right? Yeah. 
by the time you get a house, bro, you're actively looking in the 250 range. Like, I don't know yeah. why you just trend up. Like, whatever amount mm. you was aiming to spend when you started, this shit is a little higher by the time you get a house. You normally, normally when you buy, if you want one, I've been told to just start at like 180. In terms of what? If you you want to spend two hundred, give yourself one eighty because oh, yeah, after yeah, yeah. taxes and all the other stuff that accrue, you'll get to two hundred. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You got to stroke them, like. Yeah, most of the upper class and people that come here, they they want to pull the pool here. I mean, it's space for a pool, but um, I see your kid over there. Likes to swim, don't he? Yeah, yeah. Don't you like to swim a little low? I um, love to swim, low junior. <laughs> what did you love when your parents put a pool right here with your name on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, little yeah. mermaid can move in with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can put a slide on it too. Most yeah. of them have slides. And, and downstairs, <laughs> it's an unfinished basement, so you can put a you put a home theater down there, right? And I happen to have a pool brochure in my car right now. With <laughs> yeah, the top that's why pool brochure. <laughs> nigga walking around over there with a pool brochure. I know a guy who can install so, yeah. a pool for when you. When I was uh, when I was, I dropped a video like a year ago looking at country club million dollar homes. Right, houses are at one at minimum one mil. There was a house we walked into. And it was a rich mom, but her kids left now that they all went to uni. So she yeah. had this big ass house. She didn't know what to do with it. It was like 6,500 6, 6, 6, square feet. It was Jeez. in Kennesaw Country Club. And, and I think like uh, a few people, who's that guy that has a whole studio? I don't know. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry lives oh, okay. there. So they was flexing all the people that lived there. Ah, ah, ah. And then they're like, you know, you, you know, the owners all even went into do, uh, they were trying to do an owner finance home. So instead of a bank giving you the loan, the owner of the house gives you the loan and you just pay her off. What? That's how what? bad they wanted me to get the house. So I was like, damn. And they're like, you know that pool back there? That pool's worth 500 bands. I'm like, word? They're like, yeah, the owners lost a lot of money on the pool. So because you had to level out, bands. you had to level out the backyard. That's crazy. No, it was a lavish That's pool, the though. Of a house. It's a lavish pool. Yeah, if you spent five. You no, wait, the pool itself or the process of putting the, the pool? The house in? itself was 1.3. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the, the. Installing the pool was uh, 500. Okay, I'm about to say not the actual just pool. No, no, no. no. The, the pool, pool itself probably had like 250 value. Yeah. They just spent a lot on it trying to like level out, out the backyard yeah, and shit yeah. like that. And right behind the house was a big ass golf course because it's a country club. Yeah. And right behind that was, they explained to me, one of the most expensive schools in Georgia. It was like this big ass, it was a it massive was. high school, bro. It was a private high school. And they're like, and so they were trying to convince me to get it. Uh, uh, uh. It was, it was fascinating, bro. It was fucking fascinating. Cause I, and to the point where they have contracts with local police departments. So you see police like circling around the whole time. They even have their own security. So every like two, three minutes, you see the security pull up. Security's like, yo, oh, and security asked to see the inside of my car because. It was a cool car, I guess. Mm. I was like, oh, that's odd security. There's sure no that's, drugs in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Nice interior in there. You're an entrepreneur, huh? You know, you know, the other real estate agent <laughs> turned up for me, though. He was like, is the security looking in your car right now? And he went down there and was like, yo, yo, don't do that. And the security got in trouble. That's their tactic. That's what they say. We got a black guy come here. I want you to kind of <laughs> yeah, profile him and I'm going to stand up for him. Yeah. I got you. He's like, so, man, that's so, so unprofessional. He's I'm coming sorry. in. You're going to hear him down the street. He's going to... If you guys can ever you finesse car coming. If you guys can finesse a viewing from one of these country club homes, it's fascinating. When you walk in, bro, pristine condition. You know, you're the only ones there. It's not other people in there. When you walk in, they have homemade cookies. Bro, when I tell you that shit melted in my mouth, they had 10 homemade cookies sitting right there waiting for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you're eating your cookies, you're walking around the house. House is beautiful, bro. It was beautiful. It was so homey. Like, they, they almost got me to purchase it. And then, you know how the real estate agent tried to sell me on it was they were like, yo, the basement is unfinished. If you finish out the basement, now you're yeah. adding 2,500, 3,000 square feet. You just added like three, four hundred thousand dollars of yeah. value on the home. But they, 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 do that, they do that in literally every, especially, I don't know why in Atlanta. I need like filet me on. I don't need no hot cookies. <laughs> I'm playing one point some million. You give me some Pillsbury cookies. That's a fact. Yeah, <laughs> cookies, cookies, nigga. I can, I can go. I can go to the apartments and get nigga. some cookies nigga, and that, that ass. Some some fillet and broccoli. Yeah. Nigga. Nah, it, it was fire. The, un, the unfinished basement thing. That's I, I think that's just an, I think that's an Atlanta thing because that's like, like that. very common. I don't. Yeah, like, that's, I hate that's common it. in Toronto too. It is. I, we I, I lived in it. an unfinished basement for like a very long time. Like my setup was in there. I was just chilling with the the goddamn. Insulation. I mean, the insulation was kicking it back in the day. I mean, I, 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 now I think about it, that's how it was here too. Yeah, well, yeah it's, it's not bad, but it's just like it's just like when you see a beautiful house upstairs, you see the basement is empty. Like, dang, and they was like, I gotta yeah. redo that myself. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, which is crazy. And then they try to say like, yeah, you can change this any way you want, want to. And the way they pitch it is All like, right. 
All you got to do, bro, you spend about 180, 200 on the basement, it adds about 400 value to the house. Oh and so now you think like you really got this shit like you're some kind of mogul. <laughs> no. And then, but then even when they do that, I'm like, like, I can't really change it any way I want to. Like, you already got the framing up already. Yeah. I, I got to put the wall where the framing yeah. is already at. That's a problem All with basement. All I can do is make it more livable. Yeah, like, yeah, that's it. Like, why don't, if it's that simple, why don't y'all niggas do it, huh? Yeah. Why, yeah. why don't y'all do the it? The poles in the basement that, like, literally, put, like, uh, support the house, yeah. you can't move those poles. Yeah, it's already done. So, it's like the structure of the basement is already made. The only thing you have to decide is whether or not you want to put up fucking walls. Yeah. You want to put up walls or do you want to just put down the wood? <laughs> niggas, niggas, they, they try to kill, they trip me out with that, yo. Nah. You can, you yeah. can change it however you want. Nigga, the, it's already there, bro. It's your basement. It's really a fresh start. Yeah, really, yeah, really. You can do it's whatever really you want the to. the best, best way possible. Yeah, if you really think about it, you whatever you want to do is yours. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> it's not. The basement is very inconvenient because you can't change it the way you want to. I already, I already see where the toilet going to go because they go to plumbing right there. I see this room, that room. Yeah. This why I already see it, so no. Nah, and sometimes when, this is the perfect thing when, when you're doing real estate and there's a moment, bro. There's a moment where the house has been listed for a while and the owner says, fuck it. Bro, when we were looking at homes in Atlanta, problem with Atlanta is they just changed the Airbnb rules. So I don't yeah. want to buy in Atlanta. I want to buy in the areas around Atlanta now. Yeah. So in it, we're in Atlanta and I'm already like a little sus on it. Bro, the house is listed for about uh, 380, right? It's a big home. It's perfect for B&B. It's five bedrooms and you can convert the laundry room into like a smaller six bedroom. A little finesse. So, mm. so, um, with the laundry room, yeah, the laundry room was big as fuck. Yeah, you're gonna have him sleeping next to the, the dryer, my boy. No, 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 you can move the dryer and the washer. We, I already strategized, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 of, course, yeah. of, course. <laughs> of course, of course, slumlord agent in the building, of course, you can, of course, you can move that shit. No, so, um, they came down and, and, and the real estate agent, their, their real estate, if I was an Airbnb, I would be too. I'd be mad. No, fun. there was no washer and dryer, they dedicated a big ass room to a washer and dryer. Oh, you yeah. don't need that. Of course. You don't need that. Of course. So um, they, the, the real estate agent was like, some real estate agents is low-key not on your side. You know what he told my real estate agent? He, their real estate agent told my real estate agent, yeah, if I'm going to be honest with you, they're, they're going to move this house. Uh, they're about to take it off the market. So they're like, this is, this is the end. So, you know, if you're interested, then it's time for you to buy. Now, this is what happens. Now, if you can't afford it and you had the money and your parents had money or something like that, and you could buy these homes in cash, they love cash transactions because it's way snappier. You don't have to deal with the banks and loans and mortgages, none of that. So my, my real estate agent's like, yeah, I have a cash buyer. He's ready to close within the week. Oh, their dicks get hard, especially when you had a two months of it's listed. Dozens of people came to view it. Nothing happened. When you hear a cash buyer, he's ready to move it in a week. Your dick gets hard. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They came down from 380, 360. And I'm like, damn, I don't know, Ben. I'm feeling like 350. How you feeling, Ben? Ben said, I asked for 350. Ben gets down there. He asked for 350. He, he gets back to me. He said, their real estate agent said, honestly, they'll do 350. But Ben said, I might even be able to get you more, my brother. You mm. want to go 340? Bro, they was willing to go for 340. This house is listed for 380, bro. Mm. 380. Um, but... I wasn't. I didn't want to commit to like Atlanta, so I was like, "Fuck it." So I'm gonna stick with like the East Point College Park area. But I'm, I'm, is, you didn't be getting a dick hard and don't be complete in there. Yeah, I get, I'm giving them blue balls. No cap. Dude. We did the same thing too. No cap. We did that actually a few times here. But niggas doing that to us too though. Like we were we were close to like giving. They got your dick hard and it left you. No, I yes. We, not that, but they kind of just beat it and open their mouth, but it's just I mean, like so nah. One I'm one tired. of I think we I think I told this up. We ain't gone details, but it was it was a house that we were so close to getting. Nigga, we were already mapping out where niggas were going to live, what they were going to buy, how they're going to put the shit up on the wall. This was back when it was me, Lo, Waleed, and Davis. Yeah. And niggas, like, niggas was prepared. I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be it right here, dog. It's all we got mapped out. And I'm pissed off. This nigga out of nowhere, the landlord to this house, this, this house was perfect, too. Perfect house. It was the one with the oversized rooms you're talking about, right? Every room was oversized. Yeah, yes. Literally, Urgh, literally yes. Every, every room Urgh. was oversized. So if you wanted to do it in one room, you want to have a one room setup? You could you could have done it easily. And Davis would have been down there by himself in the in the basement. Easily would have had. I think I think the basement had like two or three rooms, a, a theater room, and what? like another live, living. But room. it's not this. It's, a, it's not this house. No, 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 no. This is another house. Oh, it was bigger than this one. About the no, same. No, it's about the same size. It was just the way that it was much more like narrowing up. This is like much more wide. Oh, this more, house is more much thick. more wide. More thick. I guess. I guess. Yeah, this house man. got more of an ass to it. True, I, I true. Guess. That house okay. had more of like a chest. And also, I'll be honest with you, that house would not have worked now that I know how niggas live around here because that house was 
it was off the street, but it was deep enough into the street where it would have worked. But now that I know how niggas operate here, you know, niggas can't just invite a whole bunch of people and have a car parked all over the place or in a house like that. So it would not have worked anyway. Oh, because it would have been like, it's only one driveway. Yeah. yeah it, would oh, not so have, then, it would not have worked. Oh, you would have just been stuck. You would have been stuck. If you try to leave and, and 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 a bunch of people would have been here, you would have been stuck. We, we air out tires at the A&P house when people do that. In that driveway, it would not have been that. You really it wouldn't have mattered. Been stuck. It would not have mattered. You would have a bunch of flat stuck. tires. You would still been stuck. Or, or people would have been parking on the grass. <laughs> I, I'd invest in a Jeep. I'm riding on the grass, my brother. Yeah, people, you had to drive on the grass. No cap. But we got, we got so close to it, literally. Money ready, information given to them, tax, uh, not tax, credit already given to them. And then the fucking landlord, the owner of the house, like, can I can I can I live downstairs while y'all there? I was like, nigga, what? What the fuck? <laughs> nigga, no, you can't do it, nigga. What the nigga, fuck? I'm glad you like it. Like, I like y'all a lot too. Like, <laughs> I'm moving in. Hey, I'm moving in. Now like, y'all like, seem like really cool people. I don't really got too many friends. <laughs> <laughs> I give you a discount. Let me stay in the basement. And so then I'm like, nigga. And then I, I also was like, nigga, we, yeah, get your bummy ass nigga off oh my. Yo, that was that was the wildest shit. Can and I live the, in the basement? Is crazy. And then the other think I one the upstairs, <laughs> nigga. It was it was living in the basement was wild. It was, it was a sizable basement too, but it was still wild. Here's a way till y'all close the deal to bring it up. Yeah, which wait was another thing. The nigga got done right before we almost signed up. He's like, yeah. We, to live downstairs. This is also the one where we had AJ and I had to write a letter to him explaining how we're responsible homeowners and how we own property and how we already own property. We know how to take care of it. We'll have maids come over here. too. <laughs> you want to live with you too? And then, and this nigga was like, "Yeah, that, that sounds good." And uh, so so when I'm moving in, I was like, "Nigga, such a dumbass." Up. He said, "Yeah, so you sign right here." And then and right then here on August 16th, date. this is where I yeah, this move is in my too. moving day. Just August to monitor 16. everything. So I'll be staying there. Y'all going to be here a six <laughs> month lease. I'll be here five and a half months. Give me two weeks to get my stuff from my mom's spot. I'm going to come back in here and move with y'all. <laughs> and my mom's spot is fucking wild. It's like he Just couldn't sure afford to, to live in his own house. Yeah, that's so what he's saying. He was trying yeah. to find roommates, basically. Yeah. And he was doing it rent free. Nigga wasn't even willing to budge on our rent. Huh? He wasn't willing to budge on the rent. He's going to monitor everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, you don't have to worry about payments. I'll be right downstairs just walking down to me. And then, and then the other house we was about to... We were <laughs> walking in, down Which is me. wild. And the other house we were like this close to giving up the entire um, year's worth of rent up front. Yeah. And this lady was... Her dick was hard. She was ready for that shit. Luckily, her dick this, was hard? Oh, her, her, her dick was throbbing. You talking about that cat was wet. Her shit was <laughs> throbbing, my nigga. <laughs> She was calling me daily trying to figure, y'all sign the paperwork yet? Y'all sign it? Y'all sign it? Boy, she was queefing. But she was fucking ready to go, nigga. She was ready to fucking go. Then we had to sit there and tell her, nah, like, we got to switch the date. This is the wrong date. He's like, oh, no, no, no problem. No problem. I'll switch the date for you. Switching the date for us. Mm. I was like, man, this is tough. And we were close to doing it. Some of the homes that you we- told her no, bitch. Nah, the first guy got me funny. He said, well, I took the liberty of making a payment slot. So you could just slide it from the middle level all the way down to me. Just slide it down there. That was a three-level house, too. I have a picture like a, on groceries. Like a, size, like a sizable three-level house. Nah. I, I'm, well, I think all, I'm, they're all three levels. I'm acting as if, like... My brother got a car wash. They wash your cars, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> wash yeah, do you, you, do you consider the basement, like, another level? Or that's, like... That's not, like, another... It is. Yeah. Okay. Three levels. Because the levels, the other two houses we had, the the like the basement floor was an actual like the house that we about to put all the money up. The basement floor was like an extra living room with like an actual chimney and stuff like that. A kitchen, dining room, oh, two so like bedrooms. An suite. Yeah, it was like a whole in law. And then the other one, like I said, had a home theater and living room, two baths, uh, not two baths, two bedrooms and a bath. Some of these homes that said no to us, it's still vacant. Are yes, they, like there's yes. some dumb landlord, dog. What yes. are you doing with your house? Why are you just it's just sitting there collecting property tax? Yeah, that's it's, so and, sad. And did that, and what's crazy? What's also crazy is they did it, and then like literally in our first year or year and a half here, that's when the Rona hit. Yeah, and so people like people were struggling to find people to like rent out to. Not only that, even the people who had like I, there was girls I was talking to that didn't have to pay rent for months because crazy. it was just rent forgiveness. And landlords wasn't charging rent. And then and then up until like right now, um, there's been like a federal rent forgiveness program. So it's like it, it was a bad time, low key, to be a landlord that had a tenant that couldn't pay. Uh, my landlord right now is trying to kick us out. What? He's not trying to kick us out. He I uh, I've told him, yo, um the garbage disposal don't work, so you gotta bring somebody over here. He said, All right, cool. Um just like curiosity, how are you liking the house? 
Like, ah, I like it. It's, it's great. Uh, neighborhood's fun, you know, close to everything. <laughs> Why you ask? He's like, I just want to know, man. I'm getting a, get a lot of offers. <laughs> I was like. Oh. No, he wouldn't be kicking y'all out. Any tenant, anyone who buys a house would just, you would be still living there. You have to write out your term, and if they want to resign y'all, they can. Oh, yeah, no, but no, I understand that. But then also he, um, <laughs> also I fought for, not fought, house. but I'm a new, yeah, he did. He was, he was like, hey, you I mean, if you Why start, you if you start hating it, let me know. <laughs> Cause he, he like a wild dog running around. You yeah, yeah, I mean, so serious. He's like, man, you, if you have any problems, just let me know. I, I'll, I'll gladly cancel the that lease. big tree in the backyard. Give you like, problems? What's you know? What's, <laughs> you know what's so crazy? When we got when we first got the house, he was so hesitant. Cause I mean, obviously, everybody when they when they see like the bank statements and how much like I'm making, they're like, oh, is this real? Like, what's what's going on now? Obviously, like, niggas, obviously. Like, niggas, now you see that many zeros on papers? No cap. You're a millionaire. No, well, what's up? I'm broke. I'm Hold broke. on, you're not a millionaire. I'm broke, guys. Wait, 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 that's, wait. That's so what all millionaires mean, wear, guys. I'm broke. Not a Capolos or Azad and <laughs> well, they wear jeans that fit. But you just that's your this style. This is no name. This is not a name brand. That's how I know you're rich. <laughs> no oh cap, because most rich people is mad like low key, mad basic. Any, anyway, anyway, <laughs> you got to see with your bank account. He was he was so hesitant, and I mean, obviously, I'm I'm keen. You know, that's how I'm raised. Like you know, make sure you don't get nobody to make no no random reason to like. You know, to start hating on you or nothing like that. So I pay, I pay that man like either early or on time every month. And now all of a sudden he's like, "No, you've been a great tenant." He's just, you know, if you have any problems, let me know. We we can cancel that. We can cancel the lease easily. You know, I have a couple people, but also I um in some leases though they will say like if if you're willing like if I if I'm if I have a buyer I'm buying a house and if they want to cancel it they'll give you a deposit back and all that stuff. But and they'll give you, I think, a, f- a month free rent, but you still have to move within like three months of them like switching over. Damn. Some sure. yeah, there, there are some leases like that, but you have to like be careful. You got to just tell them like we're not doing it like that. Yeah, that when you sign right there, you gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> you gotta get the I got I got a buyer cash crazy. ready, so you got <laughs> you got sixty days. And I also I look I looked at his at the house we right now, bro. That that man he bought the house at like two two ten, right? I, the house we right now is worth like three twenty. So Damn. that nigga's trying to just get out. He made about a hundred bands off his transaction. Yeah, that nigga trying to get out. It is it is hot for the market right now. I it's crazy it's, hot. It's not gonna stay this hot. So no, it's I, not. I, I feel Fortune. him. Um, but I'm dead ass waiting for it to just. Nah, I've, I've said this before. I'll just say it again. I, no, I don't care. I'm waiting for him to just plumb it. I'm just, just waiting for niggas. You should just start just trolling him. You but, know the house? I love it. I never leave. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to raise my kids here. Thank you, brother. You know, you know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? <laughs> In fact, I got one on the way, man. You know what's so crazy? I that got... nigga, that nigga actually, he actually gave us a longer lease than what normal people do because most people do like a year lease. I want to give you when we he he, he signed us. This is what he said to me. He said, "I'm only going to do a year and a half or two year lease." So I said, all right, we'll just do a year and a half. I think he was trying to call, call my bluff to make sure, like, I had, like, it was for real. Like, yeah. I was legit going to commit to this type of shit. And I was like, no, nah, I'll, do, I'll do a year and a half. That's yeah. fine. You now call him right a thank you. Like, I was hesitant when you gave me that year and a half lease. But, man, oh, man, <laughs> I can see myself here for eternity. <laughs> I'm never, I'm going to renew it again. Three years. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Just sign me up for another three. My grandma loves the spot. I just, I just love, my dog loves the area. It just, my clothes, the sun hits my face, man. This is straight a blessing. Like it was a lot of options I saw, but this house right here, man. I'll be nothing without this house. I'll be nothing. 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 But what did you have to broken. say? <laughs> no, 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 I'll be nothing out of time. I ain't gonna lie. I bet there's so many offers on this house right now, but man, you better just delete them emails, man, because I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> And here's rent early. This for next month. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to live here. This is his next month rent. His here's next November month. and December. <laughs> Nigga, man, I told him the same thing too. I said I, I can I can pay the whole year in advance if you want to. He was like, no, 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 no. no, no house do that. prices though. There's no point of, if you're gonna rent out your house. There's no point of waiting on house prices. Like I'm 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 grossing so much <laughs> off said, my no, B and B that the appreciation means nothing. <laughs> appreciation is nothing compared to how much you'll make off the rental. Oh yeah, I agree. But I think I think I think he wants to get out though. I think he just wants to like I think I think what he's doing because he has two more um, rentals. I think he's just trying to sell while it's at the highest and then hope that it'll collapse. And then once it collapses, he'll just buy when it's like when it's just like four closed so much, houses. That's so much effort for like 50K. I don't think it'd be 50K. Last time when it when it foreclosed, houses were like 75, 100. If you're getting cheaper. a foreclosed home, I was watching a video on it and it this makes house was foreclosed. He was getting he got this house for mad, mad, mad cheaper. Cheap. You know, I texted him. I said, Could I buy this house off you? What do you say? He waited like 
four or five days and he and he texted me he said i'm still thinking on it <laughs> and so i texted him today i waited four or five days and i was like no worries by the way, there's two trees that toppled over in the backyard. <laughs> I, keep, I told him to come here and get it. I told him to come here and look at it. Nah. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try and buy this one. If, if if he let me buy this one, I'm going to buy this one. If not, I'm going to buy an East Point. You need to knock out the walls. What? Knock out oh, the walls. I guess I could do construction. If, yeah. Bro, this is such a great area. I love this house so much. What about this is that? the most perfect area in all of Atlanta. It's too perfect. I agree, actually, now. It's 15 minutes from downtown. I agree. Right beside the highway. I agree. Has views of the city. And you ain't like, really specific about this. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's such a gold, this is such a beautiful area. I agree, though. It does not get better than this area in Atlanta. I agree. It's it's safe, it's quiet. Real nice and safe. Bro, no cap. Well, maybe not so much safe. A lot of gunshots were Yeah, yeah, I've been hearing gunshots too much in this area recently. It was What's going on in this area, nigga? I don't know. Man, my lead, I leave here and it turns to the hood? What the (laughs) hell? It's getting hot, man. God damn. It's getting hot, man. Nigga, there's gunshots crying? I heard it multiple All these times. loud cars for like walking no, in. No, 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 Is it is it gunshots like somebody doing something or like somebody in no, the yard? No, someone shooting? died. No, no, no. Somebody, yeah. no. Deceased gunshots. Okay, stop. Bah, 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 okay. Bah, bah. See, ah! see, 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 <laughs> see, see, I'm, not, I'm talking about because, you know, we still, we still in the South. Nah, there's a fireworks. There's a couple of um no. acres around here where I, I know for a fact people probably shoot. That ain't target backyard. practice. Bro, I was at, I was at, where I was at the A&P house. <laughs> but it's getting like, it's getting, so Chris, Chris was like, yo, there was a car that came into the driveway and then it stopped and then he saw me and then sped off. And I said, yo, Chris, was it like at 2 p.m.? And he's like, yeah. I was like, that's my Uber Eats, chill out. So then we we settled that one. We settled that one. And then he he's came like. came and dropped the bag, brown bag off at the front door. <laughs> so suspicious. I don't know. Then, and then he on. told me. Shake then shack. He, told, he, he told me. dead in my face. He told me, have a nice day. <laughs> he looked dead in my face and looked at his phone and clicked something as if he was confirming something. Yeah, confirming the location. I saw I saw a flash and I thought maybe it came with a red dot, but no. Anyway, so then later that day, he's like. He's taking a picture of the front of the house with the bag. I was I was like, he got us. He's I casing think, the spot. I wish I had blonde so I could close him. I was scared. I couldn't oh, edit no more. I don't know why. We we can't, can't, we're not going to drop on Monday because I was worried for my safety. <laughs> I don't know why he was casing. He was casing the welcome mat. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> he even rung the doorbell to see if anybody was home. <laughs> I didn't answer. I didn't want him to know you. I hey, hey, if a nigga said all that, I'd be like, bro, if you if you want to go grab my Uber Eats outside, just say that nigga. Don't, don't, don't make it seem like a nigga robbing us, bro. So then the he's door, like, I went to the door and just started smelling good. So I don't know if he left a bomb or some sort. Try to gas me out. He saw me and tried to. I don't know. Oh, shit. But, okay, so Chris, camera Chris and editor Chris, both have a, we have a production room right in the front door yeah. so we can see whoever comes in. The whole house is strapped. Every every room has a strap. So it's like, it's not really the ideal house to try and we have cameras everywhere. So so then Chris is like, so, yo, later that night, bro, it was dark. I saw a car, like, right up on the driveway and just stop. And then when it saw that I was looking at it, it like sped up like mad fast and reversed and got out of there. And I thought like, damn, that's actually like, and it was on Chris's mind because he kept bringing it up to like every new A&P member that walked in the door. So I was like, I don't, who knows who that was? Who knows, right? But then, um, so then I had a moment though, like a few days ago, I'm I'm in the driveway with Kai. He just got his new AMG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're just we're just talking and shit. We're, we're in the driveway, and I see a car pull up to the top of the driveway. Now keep in mind our driveway is like a U, right? Yeah. So you can enter and then exit from another side. Yeah. So someone comes in and enters and stops, and I go yo, and I hear nothing from the car. Then the car immediately starts to reverse, like so fast that like you know when your tires spin and you can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> And then boom, the car reversed into the wall because it's low-key like a narrow driveway. Yeah. So car got in an accident, like at the top of the thing. Bro, I'm sprinting in my room for my shit. Right? I grab my shit. Now I'm in now I'm in the driveway. And I'm going, yo. And they can, whoever's in the car can see, like, is you're gonna have to say something, bro. You can't just say nothing. And keep in mind, all I can see because it's night is headlights. I'm like, yo, nothing. So I put my shit down as to not like. You know, because I'm about to go up onto the road now. What? Because the car already backed up at this point. I hear a loud boom. The car backs up. It's on the. It's on the. It's on the. Uh, the road. Okay. And so I walk up to see what's going on, and I noticed it was a Lexus, and I was like, "Oh, that's a Davis invite." So that was Davis's man's. 
But I thought, like, why would you, why would you not say anything? Because for a moment, me and Kai is thinking, like, yo, we got it. We might have to boom something. You, you popping in, lead. you popping in the driveway, I I was chilling. Saying, suspicious car, get strapped, run outside. No cap. It was so odd because you was gonna I, bust it. I mean, I might have had to, my brother. Have we told that story about what happened here too? Nah. That right there to me was the scariest. That was by far the scariest shit. That was wild. That was, was by the DoorDash delivery gone wrong? No, it was <laughs> gone not. Wrong. No, this oh. was this was legit. Somebody came to this house trying to. I think I I'm like eighty percent, eighty ninety percent sure they came to this house trying to rob this house. Yeah, I'm not even. And I'm not even joking. And I was on a date at the time, um. So I had to interrupt like the festivities. To go handle this situation. And, you know, Willie lives for these moments. So, Willie put on his whole outfit. Um, oh, man. You know, you know how excited Willie was. I feel Willie like he had was. A, a secret compartment in his closet. Yeah. Yeah. He put all his editing money in. So, when the time <laughs> comes, it opens but up. But the like crazy part about it is he wasn't here. I don't think, I don't think y'all was Willie on a date. was here, bro. Huh? Bro, there was a time where somebody came, tried, knocked real hard on the back door of this house. Oh, that time. Okay, okay. All right. Not that time. I'm talking about the time where... AMP was here before y'all had the house and y'all would come here and all the cars are here and then y'all left and I was downstairs by myself. Oh, that wasn't a real thing, bro. How was it not a real we thing? We had a real thing. That wasn't real, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. What you're saying, I, f- I actually just forgot about what you're talking about. You know why I forgot about it? Because I actually wasn't at the house. Well, he was calling me to tell me somebody was banging on the door and shit like that. Yeah. That was a real thing. No, bro. It was just a girl trying to finesse. It was a little yeah, girl trying to finesse. That's what I said. Somebody but it's, just, to- it's probably just a scammer though, bro. Or potentially a a, a goddamn so scam and come to somebody's house and scam. What are you doing? Yo, bro, you, you, can rob. Go, you can go to people's house and scam. Trust me. Why would somebody come to somebody's house and scam? They would just come and rob you. No, I'm bro. It was yo, the the only real incident was the one where uh That's a there, real incident, nigga. I don't think it was, dog. If I wasn't if I wasn't there, that then she would have definitely got at least to the door and try to figure what was going on. Long That's story short, it was somebody who came in who was um all the AMP cars are here, then they left. And so there were it looks like there was no cars that were there. And I think at that time, either my Highlander was either still in the garage or it was down in the in the um at the at the uh turnaround or whatever. And she literally like she parked in front of the house, looked, got out the car, walked all the way up, walked all the way up to the door, looked around the door to see what was going on, went back down, got back in the car, came up the driveway. Came back out with a backpack that time, like ready to come to the door. And then like it was just she kept like going back and forth in front of the house and walking back and up and on the driveway. And by the time she got on her book bag and walked to the door, I just met her at the door, like, yo, what's up? What's up? Yo. And she's like, Oh no, I think I got the wrong house. And just all of a sudden I got the wrong house. No, we had an actual real incident. That was just like that was just Oh, I, what, what what did you say to her? I just said, Who you looking hey, for? Hey, bitch, you lost? I know. I just said. I just said. Who are you looking for? And she just. I sound like she just named came out with a random name. I can't remember what name she came out with. I oh, just feel like not, she just came with a random name. And I was like, Nah, ain't nobody. Me, you wondering nope. am I properly aimlessly? Are you looking for somebody? Are it you didn't looking even for make ass any, whooping. But it didn't even make any sense. Like nobody, <laughs> nobody not gonna go. Nobody not gonna. Who, who's not? Who, nobody gonna pull up to somebody else's driveway and not either know like who's going to be there or like not anticipate them or on the phone with them. Like that's oh, never I happen. know who you're looking for. Let me go load them up right quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me I'll go load him you. up. You gonna have a lasting impression. Now we had a we had a real that incident part was also crazy. One the time one where there. there was a person I had a problem with, and um, oh. you said oh, beef. Yeah, I guess it wasn't a beef. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. What you really, it was a person that I had some conflict with, and I was theorizing that this individual hired, not hired, but enlisted some individuals to come to this crib and try and scare me. So I was in the middle of a date at the time. And keep in mind, my room, I could see the backyard from my room. So I hear a boom, 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 boom. And I think, like, there's no way that's will lead, right? And so then I hear, like, footsteps coming quick, boom, boom. You know how, like, when people are walking with a heavy foot, you could hear it? Yeah. So I could hear Waleed, like, running. So I already knew, like, what time it was. So I, like, pop out my door. I'm like, yeah, Waleed, what's going on? He's like, someone's in the backyard. So Waleed gets, like, his whole gear outfit. You know, he's geared up and shit. Waleed, up. So his, Waleed called a couple of his friends. Uh, so now we have a couple of friends geared up. And there's someone who seems to be in the backyard. Problem is it was night, so it was dark outside. And this is before we had the, um, the camera and the spotlight. Yeah, we, had a, we, had a, we didn't have the floodlight outside yeah, yet. Yeah, so there was no way to light it. So Waleed's, Waleed's 
weapon though, luckily had a, light. a flashlight. A flashlight. So yeah. Lee was pointing it in their backyard is like a foresty area, so it's actually kind of difficult to see what's where. And he was just calling out to it to see what went on. And then we went back inside after like 10, 15 minutes because we couldn't see anything. And then, so I go back upstairs and I'm like, I, I talked to the girl that I was with. I was like, my bad. I don't know what that was. I thought we heard something in the backyard. Next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. So I rushed to my window now to see if I can catch whoever did that. Because it's like, if you wanted to steal, you could have probably made your way in. Yeah. But that wasn't, a, it was it was really to scare. Yeah. So then, so then now we're on go again, trying to see like who did it. So there was a day um, where I posted on my IG story uh, a couple ARs that I had. I was like M4 on my M4. Uh, I don't usually do stuff like that. I just keep those things private. But the reason I posted it is because I knew I was theorizing the person that was responsible for it was going to see that story. And if the goal was to scare me, it could end tragically. You don't pull up someone's house and, and do shit like that. That's crazy. That's a fact. And it's funny is I had a couple of brands hit me up and that were like, yo, what's going on with this right here? My brother, this is this is horrible for your brand. It's off brand for you. Yeah, but it wasn't brands. It was people associated with brands that fuck with me. Almost like trying to warn me like this could like tank your relationship with some brands. Yeah. Because a lot of brands, this was like, especially this was around the time where BLM was like real strong. So just the, even you Isn't owning a gun was no, crazy. Honestly, isn't that crazy that we can own it? Like owning a gun is like a right. But as soon as a nigga owning a gun to protect his crib or a black person owning a gun is like, whoa, whoa, this is. Because the reason I was posting it was really, it was a protect. message. Yeah, exactly. So, so I explained it to him. I was like, I know who's trying to do it. And it wasn't, I was just basically showing, I was telling them like, that's is not a good option for you. So that's all I was doing. I don't actually post that shit. Um, so I, I thought that was fascinating, but then it, I don't think it ever happened again. No, but, I didn't know. Nah, I thought that was a. Uh, very, very interesting to say the least, man. That was the only like real incident I had. Every other incident um, was just maybe things that could have happened. But that day, somebody was in the backyard. Look at that day, crazy. somebody was walking to our door. We- yeah, but people trying to like scope your house is like, that's low key kind of normal. I'm not going to lie. We ain't never had nobody that close to our house. Yeah, that was mad suspicious, but they didn't do anything. Because I met, all right, all right, you got it. Because I met them at the door, nigga. All right. They're probably texting like, yeah, this is it's empty right now. They were literally <laughs> on their phone texting with a backpack on yeah, walking yeah, yeah. to the thing. I, yes. got, I got the bag on me. I'm about to go inside now. Nobody's here. Oh, <laughs> that's literally what that's literally Hi. what it that's, I mean, that's, so it's potential, that's potential. literally what it looked like. Oh. They literally all, all the people, all the AMP niggas cars were no longer in front of the house. It looked like nobody was home. And they literally drove around the house a couple of times, stopped, walked up, getting back in their car, drove up. Walked to the door and they met. I just met them at probably the door. Probably changed their whole voice. She probably talking Operation Operation Hit Lick. Operation Hit Lick. I'm about to <laughs> Operation about to, Hit Lick. I'm about to jump into the house now. I see the back window is cracked. I'm coming in now. I'm about to pro <laughs> back window being uh, cracked as well. Hey Derek, are you? Is this the house? Oh, oh, somebody's coming. Hello. She was straight bullshitting too. Oh, I don't Hi. trust women, bro. Because a lot of the times women are straight like bullshit. Yeah, they're sent by men, bro. Yeah, she was straight bullshitting. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't trust that. At all, dog. You don't trust, them, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust. Yeah, no. Nah. And that's actually right because I think I think they pressed the button. Because if man. it was a man, all right. FTB. What do you say? He pushed the button. FT, FTB. <laughs> Fade to black. Turn that motherfucker on, boy. <laughs> this, oh, there we go, boy. There we go. <laughs> Ain't nothing but black screen. Them niggas just saw. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Oh, blackness. I, I agree though. I think men do that because they like because they know for a fact if a man came to the door like that, it would have been a totally different like conversation. Yeah, you're not, we're not about to have to because you're way yeah, nicer. Yeah, lower the, lower knock them out, right? I ain't gonna lie. I would have turned into Willie that day. Like, hey, what's up? What's up with yeah. you? Yeah, because you all on the property right now. There was a guy his hand like this. It's about to be a problem. There was a guy who there was a guy who delivered um, some DoorDash for me, bro, at the A and P house. I'm in the middle of a meeting. I forgot what meeting it was. I'm in the middle of a meeting. Something busy, right? Boom. I pop out my meeting to grab my food. First of all, this guy waited like five minutes to come down the driveway. So I'm already heated that like he could have delivered my food five minutes ago. He's, he's, it's getting cold while we wait, bro. But anyway, I ended up meeting him at the door and he just stares at me and goes like, what do you do? And I'm, I'm looking back at him like, yeah, I just do video. I just like, yeah, I just... I like to eat. Nigga. I was about to say, I like to eat food, like nigga. Eat food. You, you I don't think home. I gave him an answer. I think I just said like random words that didn't make sense. And then he goes like, oh, word, word. 
And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at him like, you have my food? Like, what are we talking about right now? Are we ready to have a conversation, my brother? <laughs> like, I'm in the middle of something. And so I tell him, like, I have a meeting. You, you got to just scare a nigga. I, uh, I'm just an, I'm an assassin. I'm just taking a leave. I'm going to break. <laughs> I'm, just an, I'm just an assassin. I just body I just body niggas who, who aren't cooperative I'm with me. I'm a retired hitman. <laughs> I, I, run, I used to run a militia back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of child soldiers. And, just and killed a like nigga that. early. I'm hungry though. <laughs> you got my food? Hunger. I mean, Hope you didn't forget the coke. Hope you got nigga that forgot the coke. <laughs> he, he, well for that nigga. he got more than just a tip. Yeah, but yeah, I looked boy. at him and I was like, damn, I don't want to be rude because, like, man, he delivered my food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm in the middle of something, my mean? brother. I'm not about to fucking yeah, sit here during your means. interrogation. About what the fuck I do and how I do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Mm. So I tell I told him a second time, I'm like, yeah, I'm in the middle of me. I really had to go. And he eventually gave me my food, but mad eventually. slow. Like he was thinking about whether or not he should give me my food. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is Niggas going on? It like this. <laughs> so what do you what do you do? <laughs> Nigga putting it up behind his back. Wow, you are a YouTuber, huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. Not yet. Not yet. I got one more question. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not I'll yet. slap the shit out of a nigga. Tell me not yet. <laughs> not yet. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. Tell me not yet. Relax. Not yet is wild. Yeah, not yet is wild. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you, you, nigga, you nigga, lost your on, fucking. Not yet. Not yet. Nigga, you <laughs> lost your fucking mind. You telling me not yet, nigga. You lost your fucking mind. He said, damn, I'm so hungry, man. I just whooped a nigga ass today, <laughs> boy. My back hurt. I beat the fuck of that nigga. Hope Bro, you telling living. a grown man not yet is wild, man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'll beat the shit out of you. Like you don't want to talk to somebody and they tell you not yet. Nigga, if you but if you holding something that's mine and yeah. you told me not yet, like nigga, what's what? They got your bag of chips. Right, Can so I get yeah. some? Okay, get that back. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not I ain't gonna lie, niggas who <laughs> send women to rob other niggas is grimy as fuck. Cause they already know that they couldn't like pull that shit off. You're grimy. Like you like you yeah. saw like you know them stories, those scary stories are like where the girls be like flirting with the dudes in a in a bar or something like that in a club, yeah, and they just wait to get them drunk and passed out, and they like just sloppy drunk and they pass out in the hotel room and they yeah. just robbed him. Well, Lil Wayne made a song about that, Mona Lisa. That's crazy. And he said like they did that shit. Well, I don't know if he said he specifically did. That'd be self snitching. But he said like that shit goes on, bro. He was telling the story, and I heard That's I think crazy. it was Hetty One. He rapped about the same shit happening to him too. I think it was him. Oh, that's, that's crazy, crazy. That's crazy. Why you gotta? You know, I, but I think that's you know what we do now. Mid, it's mid, you want to get comfy up, right, low? Stop saying that, bro. What I'm just say? telling the young folks. He said, he said, that's why I get cuffed up. John, bro, come on, dog. No, I'm just, I'm just advising. Now is not the time people. for your lies, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. Stop it. Huh? Stop. We not. We we don't don't use this podcast to promote some bullshit to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. I just don't, don't use it. This this podcast is not a vehicle for you to promote no, just, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You commit the crime. You do the time. Just go ahead and get cuffed up, boy. Low commit a lot of crimes. So he's he got life in jail. <laughs> That's not what. No oh, man. In jail. <laughs> Comparing. <laughs> trying to take a, have a contrast from mirroring someone to life to jail is wild, nigga. It's a life no, commitment. No. You're never coming out. You never I mean, know what the outside the world look like no more. The grass not green on the other side. You're not seeing them gates. It's all inside. I guess. John, what you, you bored? I forgot. Uh, bored as fuck. Yeah, you are, my boy. Yeah, you very are. bored. Nah, but I ain't cuffed, though. They're not cuffed. Okay, John, I'm going to bite, dog. I'm being so serious, John. Stop. Let me bite. Let me bite. <laughs> let me bite. Let me bite. All right, John, when this happened, bro? Huh? When did it happen? Every day is an amazing day. So he's not I'm cuffed. Saying, Got like, it. When it didn't happen. So he's still free. Got it. Got it. That's all I needed to hear, John. So yeah, you, you know still so like, you still single, John. Huh? You still single, right? John, you trying to go to the strip club tonight? Nah, I'm not, man. Why not? I gotta ask old lady. Give him permission. <laughs> you, know what I'm you mind if I go smack a little ass tonight? You don't even sound like you. You don't. You don't even <laughs> act like you in a relationship, nigga. That's the crazy part. Nigga don't even know how that sounds. It's it like when a virgin bad. nigga act like he get pussy. Like, <laughs> and these these you know, nice little sandbag titties. That's that's what you sound like right now, nigga. I, I like, gotta ask the old lady. Got smack some ass tonight, nigga. I'm what? Like, okay, I smack some ass with no no relation. You can pull up too, John. You're not gonna be in a relationship, bro. I'm so serious. You need to contemplate doing an open relationship. I'm serious. Why? Just ask for it. Just ask for it. Nah, nah, she's not going for that. Well, why don't you just get with someone that will go for that? I mean, that's, that she's inevitable going to cheat on me. It's not cheating if it's an open relationship. 
Yeah, but it's gonna be at one point where I don't like it. But you could be. But you could do it as well, though. But I don't mean nothing. <laughs> John, you're confused, man. No, I just don't want no open relationship. So you in a relationship right now, John? You cuffed up? Huh? You cuffed up? Yeah, I'm cuffed. So you in a relationship? Exclusive. You exclusive, John? I'm like turkey on a sandwich. No, 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 no. Are you exclusive, John? Delicious. John, are you exclusive? Huh? I'm always exclusive. I'm special. I'm one of a kind. How about this? How about this? Are you single? Huh? Are you single? No. Why are you saying it like that? Look at me saying Are you that. sure? Say it again. I'm, I'm positive. Are you single? Huh? Are you single? Single. Are you single? No. <laughs> so. so you in a relationship. All right, cool, cool. Dan, so you can't fuck with no other women right now or ever? No. No. So... No matter how bad they are, or whether or not they're like a porn star, or yep, whether they're like the realization of what? Which one? You can't fuck a porn star. <laughs> yep. So you wouldn't though, like if if Tiana hit you up and said, "I want to suck your dick," you, nah, you would I, tell I, her I like, "Nah." Her, I pass on my friend, double A's and zero. Okay. Let me ask you this: So, so how long you know this this woman you're in a relationship with now? Huh? How long have you known the woman that you're in a relationship with now? That's not a question. You keep bringing it up, nigga. <laughs> I I really kind of dated it. You keep bringing it up. You think I'm you think I'm lying, or I could be. How long you know her though, John? How long you know her? Just I, I'm bringing it up. Fine. How long you known her? Twelve years. You known her for twelve years? He's lying, bro. You known her for twelve years? Twelve years, <laughs> six months, seventeen. So why'd you wait twelve years? Minutes. Why'd you wait? Why'd you wait so long? Huh? Why'd you wait so long? Because. Because these fucking bitches, man. <laughs> hey, click the button, John. Fuck these bitches. Yeah, it go, it go both ways. Fuck these bitches, not be fucking bitches. <laughs> Fade to black, nigga. <laughs> Fade to black, nigga. What are they talking about, boy? Back to live. Bring back color, nigga. <laughs> uh, um. All right, John. I, I hope I hope your relationship. Work out now. I, 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 I didn't calm down. I didn't calm down. I didn't digress. That's not what that means. But okay. Um. Yeah, I hope you calm down, John, so you can be in this relationship. I hope it works out for you. She put yeah, me on to this. She did the Pedialyte. That's good, man. You think yeah. you, you think you can get her on the pod, or is it too early for that? I oh, will talk about it later, John. That's too early. It's, yeah, too, it's too early. early. It's too yeah. early. Whenever yeah. you bring your girls to the pod, when everybody bring their girls, I to did. The pod. I've already done it. Hey, yeah, you did it. I've done it already. So don't don't throw me in this. Okay, so John, you're up next, my brother. I've done it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the start. The producer go last. It's y'all first. So I've already a girl, done it. Okay, I'm about to bring say. her on, and then I'll get a girl, and I'll bring her on. I could bring a girl. I can no, we talking about a girl y'all in a relationship with. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with you, John. Mm, but it's you know, it don't matter who go first. It's like who's in the relationship. So when I got my relationship, right, time had passed, and then she got on. You in a relationship right now, right, John? Exclusive right? relationship. You in this exclusive relationship, right? <laughs> non single relationship, right? Yeah. All right, so we gonna let some time pass, and then she come on the podcast. November. We're gonna have you like sit on one of these chairs, John, and and I'll I'll, I'll produce it. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. We got yeah, producer I'll, love. I'll, I'll produce producer it. Producer love. Get y'all nice and close. You know what I'm saying? I'll produce it. Now you know what I'll produce it. We need yeah. we need Doctor Low of Love, the uh, Love Doctor. We need love the Love Doctor, doctor on the side. Aye, aye. We might well bring Michael Jackson and Jesus too. <laughs> I mean, if that's, that's going to happen, if we could, we would, my brother. You know that's a, you know that's a standard, right? You know that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna bring my pet unicorn too and park it in the garage. Mm. Parking a unicorn is crazy. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna bring all that too. And I'm, I'm gonna bring the secret formula to the Coke. I'm gonna tell y'all, I know the game. I'm gonna bring everything. That all right, I just, I just want to know. I just want, I just want to know. I, I want to see how serious you are. You gotta show, you gotta show, know the game. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, did you hear that on um, J. Cole free song? Which one? The pipe down one. Nah. You haven't heard that? No. Nah. It came out like literally last week. I know. Amazing. I bet it was. It's J. Cole, man. Amazing. I heard Lupe spit on um, uh, Champion Poetry. Would be, be real with y'all? He called it Diet Coke Poetry. <laughs> would be real with y'all? What's that? Sure, John. I'm going to tell y'all next episode, so everybody stay tuned. The truth. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I hate oh, John. Yeah. I, hate John. John. I, hate I hate John. John. I hate no, John. No, you're not. Hey, know the game. No, no you're make not. Make sure you turn your Say it right now, bro. Stop, stop holding back the podcast. John is dead ass holding back the podcast right now. No cap. 
John, why would to, you why would you put him on a cliffhanger of like what when you gonna say next time? Huh? Just say it. Just boost boost the views. Nigga, they're gonna come regardless. Yeah, but now they're gonna have a reason. I'm gonna tell them the truth. About how you're not in a relationship? I don't know. You gotta stay the next episode. Load oh, so you oh you in that phase where you're trying to figure out if you wanna commit or not? Huh? Okay, I see. I know what phase you're in right I now. mean, whatever you wanna predict. The it's truth not, comes out. John. Right, Wednesday. Man. You know, John, we're around the street Peter was Peter. that um, you even brought her to like an event where there's going to be a lot of people. So I thought like maybe he had John is serious with her. You are? Yeah. What event is Who this? told you that? I mean, that's what I heard, bro. That's the word around the street. Where you get that from? Yeah, where you get that from? Is your port. hair in your ear? <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> your hat too low? It is, but look, look, look. No, I heard it. I heard it. So I was right. like, damn, John, for real? Damn, John doing that? And I, I, word around the street was, yeah, he did. So. Oh, can we congratulate Davis for being in a relationship? Well, he is talking about that publicly. Yeah, he posts about it and everything. Yeah, the he girl. It? He post. No, he don't. He don't post her, but he posts like when they're holding hands. He'll post that image of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. the girl that backed yeah. up and crashed was David's girl, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you had to fire out on her. You better win her. You could have just let that go. Why would you say that? <laughs> I didn't know say? he was public about it. You came out with that he, fire. I mean, yeah, he posts. He posts her own. I, that's why I said it was a Davis invite because I didn't know. Aja came out. Hey, been one of Davis's friends. <laughs> hey, hey, you. <laughs> hey, say something. I didn't have the gun up. I ain't had the gun up. I just want to. I want to uh, congratulate Davis, man. You know, I congratulate you, my boy. I'm happy you. Uh, that he don't let you show. Yeah, I wonder what that feels like. You're in one. I can't stand John. Out, no, John is just talking. Find out. Find out next time. It's like between this podcast and the next one, he's about to ask a make or break question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then you're you you're still using this podcast to promote bullshit, nigga. I'm not having it, nigga. Are you mad? She gonna listen to this podcast and be like, "Oh, she about to ask me out?" Like, nigga, don't do that on this podcast, nigga. <laughs> don't you dare do this on it. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga yeah, is he's strategizing yeah. back there. Yeah, nigga, you're yeah, hot, right, nigga. Don't do that. Um, oh, this entire time this nigga been doing. He's like, yeah, I'm cuff. I think I don't know. Depends on what she says. I guess we'll figure out next time. You're basically putting pressure on her, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time. You are odd, nigga. Don't use this podcast for <laughs> that, nigga. Don't you dare in your life use this. Nah, nigga. Nah. This nigga use this. Nah, you fucking odd, nigga. <laughs> nah, I done cut nah. on to your schemes, nigga. We don't know, man. We're going to find out next episode. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know, nigga. man. Hopefully next episode I'm not absent. Oh. Damn, she about to murk you? You can be alive, right, John? Yeah, you can be man. healthy? Yeah. She gonna murky or she gonna have you held up doing some stuff? Huh? I mean, next podcast, the only part I can say it. So I just hope everything aligns up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, the game, no you, the know, game, you know, you're about game. to record back to back podcasts, right? So right after this podcast, huh? we gotta hit the stop button and you're gonna, we're gonna record another podcast. You ready for that, right, John? You ready for it, right? Who's, what you doing? What? We're doing back to back podcasts tonight? Yeah. You know? So right after this one, we're gonna record another one, bro. So I'm excited to hear about this new I'm in like ready. 30 minutes. Y'all, hey, y'all gonna have to You have me excited for this yeah, next one. Yeah, I'm podcast. ready for this. Man, man, let's wrap this shit up right now. I got training in the morning. <laughs> huh? I got training in the morning. How, how you gonna how you gonna ask her out, John? Yeah. What do you mean? You still ask people out? I thought it was understood. Nah, you definitely no, you have to ask. To, you need to clarify that we're in a relationship. Yeah, it won't just happen. Nigga, oh. What do you what do you what do you what do you you 16? What's, what's going on, nigga? I'm about 16, you ask people out. Oh, nigga, you clarify to let them know that I'm exclusively with you or we're in a relationship or I'm building something with you to move forward with. You just don't keep going on what are we and building? on. You just have to say what something. What are you building? A house? Okay, this nigga's trolling. He's I, can't, I can't. He's definitely single, this by nigga, the way. This nigga, this nigga's he's, trolling. He's single as fuck. What are, what are you building? Yeah, 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 credit nigga, score? yeah, you're trolling, nigga. Yeah, he's trolling for sure. You're yeah. trolling. You're How trolling. does it feel to be in a relationship, love? Mm, talk to what me. Who you advice to me? About asking out? Yeah, mm-hmm. actually. Can you? Yeah, just give us some advice. Can, I give, can I give advice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just try to try to make it. Uh, this is not for me. This is for everybody else. Oh, no, okay. Okay. It's, okay. Not. it's not even relevant to his life right now. Interesting. Not relevant, not relevant. Interesting. I, I personally didn't make it. I was trying to make it special because I was trying to do it on her birthday and try to make it like uh, an all in one package. But I was just so giddy. Oh, you're trying to bundle it together. Yeah, but I was, but I was so giddy. <laughs> Sounds but, like know, low. <laughs> but I was, I, so, I was, her today, but I I'm was next week to her birthday. Today. I was, I was so work. giddy, I was so giddy and excited about it that I dead ass couldn't like hold it in because she could like tell like I was anxious and she just asked me like, "What's wrong?" and I was like, 
No, I'm just, I guess. so busy and tired. Boy, so no, 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 I just said it right then and there. You were so oh, giddy. You did? I just, I just, because she could tell I was anxious that entire time we was with each other. How did, how so did, was, how did you say it to her? More? No, but like, I want to know what words he used. Like, who was interested in who more? Were you more interested in her, or was she more interested in you when you met? At, from my perspective, it was around. I mean, it was basically even. We both had the same level of interest. Um, but I basically like told her like, yeah, like um. You know, I think I think that uh, you know, I think I, well, I sort of I I already like see you um in such a light to where I, I take you serious and stuff like that, and um I just want to you know make things between you and I official and kind of let things known like you know you and I are together and like moving forward like I'm I want to build something with you and and, and have you um have a, like a serious port part of like my life moving forward. You said all that. That's a Essent- lot. Essentially, That's a lot. essentially, yeah. What you just like? Nah, I'm not feeling that right now. No, we already had com- <laughs> we already we already had conversations. <laughs> leading up to all that. Like she was like, we already had we already that? we already had conversations leading up to the moment. So it wasn't like I was like going out on a limb by myself. I'd be crushed. If I said all that, is I was like, so how do you feel? The other thing, the only reason why I and maybe maybe we different just because you nervous right now, John. Hmm? You nervous? No, I'm not. Okay. Never knows. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Only reason why I clarified it is because I just feel like, and this is not not a flex or not like that, but I just feel like, at least with me, like there, it's not really a flex. It's just that you had, if, like, if we're gonna be in a relationship, you have to understand, like, I live a specific lifestyle. So, like, I like, talk I'm, your shit. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when we, when I, when you, when you committed with me, like you, you're coming. It, it's a specific lifestyle that comes along with that shit. Be specific. I'm I'm gonna just <laughs> and I'll I'll keep it as simple as this. Like for example, um, like my work my work habits and the way I I go about okay. like doing work on, on a day to day basis. Uh-huh. Like, there might be a day or two where I'm just like chilling and and we might not like we, I might have like flexible time and shit like that, especially during the off season. But there's days like, especially like past like week or two where I'm just like constantly busy over and over again or I may just be working or staying up at night like that's something that like you just gonna have to like be okay with and so when I'm committing to you like these are the steps that like is a part of my life and so when I say I'm committing to you it's also with an understanding of like this what comes along with it and I'm willing to work with you on on you working with me in my lifestyle or the compromise that may come along with it and vice versa so like again I the way I work the way that I communicate with certain people, <laughs> the way that I, um, you know, I make that bread, you know what I'm saying? All that, all that comes, all that comes along with it. So you just got to understand it. Mm. And, um, as what, time, what she say to that? I didn't go into that details, but she already knew because we, for example, we had a conversation about, um, me cause at the time she was, um, uh, living, uh, Mrs. Lowe was living in Atlanta. So there be times where, and I think you told me this too, like, yo, she, she might just come over here or something like that. There's times where I would just leave at like two, three o'clock at night to drive down there to just like go to sleep with her and spend time with her. And she, she brought that to my attention. Cause at the time I didn't know, I was like, this is just, this is just me. This is low. You know, I just, I'm out and about two or three o'clock in the morning. Cause I, it's not like I wouldn't go, you know, there's no fucking time for me to go to sleep. And she was like, no, nah, like we have to like, I understand you work late, but I can't stay up at like. Three four o'clock in the morning, just waiting for you to get here. And I was like, oh, understandable. So True. I worked with her on that, but also like kind of made it known like this is kind of just my life. I can I'm, I'll try my best to make adjustments, but personally speaking, I've never been a um, wake up early in the morning type of nigga. Anyway, never. I, I don't think I can be actually. When I wake up in the morning, I get like morning sickness. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not even guy. joking. I, I, like, I wake get, up early. And you wake up too early, you get sick. I grow dumb me at first. <laughs> I do. I, I get sick when I wake up too early. No cap. That's crazy. And she and now and now that we live together, she's been she's witnessed that firsthand. I get sick when I wake up too early. No, I was saying my girl dubbed me at first. She dubbed you. Mm-hmm. So you asked her and she said no. No, 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 no. You so, like that shit, John? Huh? You like that shit? No, no, no. So, uh, well, I like I, I like I like. Nigga I like tried the... to clown me just a few seconds ago. This nigga actually got dubbed. No, no, no. You, ah, I didn't, nigga. You didn't <laughs> Can you, can you, can you let me you ass, nigga. Yeah, he's violating you right you now. Actually you actually got dumb, hey, nigga. Hey, hey, then she told you no. You didn't even hear what I was gonna say. All right, what you gonna say? Listen to the story, nigga. I'm a real nigga. <laughs> listen to the story, bitch. How about that? So I met her right. <laughs> I, I met her right, and this is when I was in my. I was at my, <laughs> I 
That <laughs> nigga. No, I'm not. I'm not. That nigga I upset. Want, I, just, I just want to finish my story. That's all I want. I just, I just want to say my side. All right, Joe. Yeah. I just want, can, can I go low? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let him finish laughing. Oh, go ahead, go, nigga. Come on, man. Tee up. Go ahead, go. Right, so I met her, and this is when I was like a year ago. I met her a year ago. And when I met her, I met her. Why? Why are you laughing? Go ahead, go, go ahead, go. You, you met her a okay, year so ago. I met her, uh, and I I talked to her at the end, and we was talking a little bit. But this at the time where I wasn't really mature yet. I didn't even know, like you know, what I'm saying? I wasn't mature. I was just all about fucking, just living life, having fun. So I tried to run a game on her. I, I was just trying to fuck, and she realized that, so she dubbed it. But she told me that now. That's why she dubbed me because she knew I was trying to fuck. So I was you like, weren't even trying to do nothing serious. She still dubbed you, nigga. Huh? <laughs> she, you weren't trying to do nothing serious. She still just dubbed you. No, I was just trying to fuck. Yes. No, I wasn't trying to have no serious relationship though. Was was huh? You was doing that. What do you mean? Like you're not doing that right now. All right now, you trying to get into a serious relationship with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, that's what she told me why she dubbed me before. Like she would talk to me and then I would try to invite her out. She wouldn't respond. Okay, like, yeah. that's that's a W female though. You know, because a lot of females will say shit like, now I'm looking for something long term, and then they'll spend, they know you're just trying to fuck, but they'll still entertain it because, like, maybe I could change his mind. No, nah, no. Nah, her, nah. her, like, saying no is basically like she knows what she wants. She, no, knows, she knows her morals. She knows she stands like, what she, she wants. She will flirt, but then when I ask a link, but it was how I do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask a legitimate day. I'd just be like, pull up to the crib, or I'm gonna pull up on you. And then shit like that. It is. And then I, I didn't <laughs> that's, that's that nigga, John, I know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, and then she was just like, nah, I'm tired. I was like, I bet. So I just called somebody else. So, I mean, I didn't, but that was at my time where nigga, I didn't really that care. was, nigga said, he said, he said that shit like, it was like, that was just so long ago. Nigga, that was, that was three months ago, nigga. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Let me, let me, let me, let me not say yeah. Let me say two years. Let me say two years. It's, it's, right, it was John. almost 700 right, days. I, I know you mixing up the stories you told her, but nigga. Can I see her? Huh? Does she have an IG? I'm just lying, bro. I know you are. <laughs> I, know, I know you are. I don't want to see her, dog. I know Damn. you are. I know you're going to start putting pieces together, so you're never going to know my life. I could be telling you, but I could be lying. John, John is definitely telling you. I actually know that you're Wait, lying. Wait, hold on. I kind of want to hear that. John, I actually story. know so that you're lying. So then when you, when you hit her up, if, when you hit her up, when you're trying, how did you let her know you was trying to be serious, though? If, huh? the, if she dubbed you because you was just trying to fuck, how did you approach her like you were trying to I'm be like serious? I'm like a grown man. I planned, I planned a date. I said, hey, be here at this time, at this place, we're doing this, this, and this, and I'll take you back home at the end of the night. Oh, word. Grown man shit. And you oh, did man, it? And when I just sat there and said, I planned it as well, this nigga clowned me, but this nigga planned shit too. But uh, did yeah, you? Yeah, you do. You planned no. it to make, like, or you make an experience of it yeah. to let them know. Not you just say, we just doing it just to do it, and then all of a sudden, we just, you just, no, I'm, just talking about day. I'm not talking about asking nobody. What else. do you like about her, John? Huh? What do you like about her? Oh, uh, but she have like really long hair, it's like nine feet long. Right. She's six three. This nigga's tall. Nigga's dating black Rapunzel. We, we wear the same nigga. size shoe. He's currently lying. We're the same yeah, size nigga, shoe. you're dating a black Rapunzel, nigga. Shut her up. Dad, nigga. Her dad plays a professional hockey player. Her mom was um. There's like one her mom black was co-producer of Halo. Co she co-produced Halo, the video game. All right, John. Um, As opposed to what the Beyonce uh, song. Her little brother's cool. <laughs> um, he helps me out. With what, John? Huh? With your math homework? No. Nah, like, her little brother, he, he's John's cool. life is like a minefield. Yeah. <laughs> he helps you out with Fuck. what, John? Huh? What does he John. help you out with? Well, he helps me out with, like, building, like, stuff. You what? Building what? Huh? Building what? Tree houses and, right, and uh, right. wooden cars. Right. You're just talking. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I like about her. That's what I like about her is that her brother helps me build tree houses. All she right. has all 32 teeth. It's just so sexy to me. All right, John. Yeah, teeth is sexy sometimes. Could you date somebody who was missing like two front teeth? Yes. Huh? You could date somebody who's missing two front teeth? She can get some new teeth. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Would you, John? Yeah, I'm get her new teeth. They won't be missing no more. No, but I mean, she's not getting it though. Like she's she don't have the so money. She don't, she don't, she have, don't no, have the money to get. She don't have no front teeth. teeth. She's missing two. I just said she's missing two. Are they noticeable? They're front teeth, nigga. You know what, what the fuck? You know what the problem with you know what the problem with fucking with somebody who like. Okay, let's say you're fucking with a girl who's like overweight, but you don't like overweight girls, but you're only doing it because you think she can get fit and she'd be bad. Mm-hmm. Is when she gets that newfound attention because she's like the standard of bad now because she's fit, mm-hmm. then she's gonna start entertaining people because she wasn't getting that attention before. 
No, nah, she not. Because deep down, she's still that fat, ugly bitch. So she going to realize what home is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like she's not gonna she gonna dub people now because they're gonna realize it don't matter if deep down she feels like that, John. It's the it's the fact that when she walks around public, she's getting looks yeah, she never but got she before. Realize the same people that like her now wouldn't fuck with her back then. So she's she, gonna stay with the people that Oh, oh 100 percent But she's she, I'm telling you, this is inter- she's saying just at least entertain the the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, it's like it's like if you was broke your whole life and at fifty five years old you thing. just came up on some money. Yep. You're not gonna you gotta not keep moving like you're broke, nigga. <laughs> like it's not how that works. Uh, Especially if you worked hard to make money. You know what I'm saying like that somebody like say like you get all this newfound attention, you're gonna know that it's fake. We I I get we get that. But if you lived your entire life broke or middle 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 class income and you built up morals and understandings of how finances work and you already understand everything ain't materialistic because you found joy in other things that doesn't that doesn't um but that, that doesn't that doesn't girl? huh? That correlate with the same thing. What he's saying, like, if yeah, I think it, again, I think if, it does. again, if you then all of a sudden gain money, you're not going to necessarily, you're not going to move the same way that you were moving when you had middle income, mainly because you worked hard to earn the money that you that you got. So if I, if I was working hard and earn fifty thousand dollars a year for 10, 12, 15 years straight, and on the sixteenth year I found a way to work my way up to earn a million dollars in the next three years. Nigga, I am not still living like the way I was earning fifty k. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Plus, if she just gets fit, you know, what I'm saying she about to like she's getting. Trust me. Uh, when you lose weight or you get fit, like you want to, you like you like looking at yourself way more. So you might even like posting yourself more because it's like you're so proud of what you've been able to That's do. You see a bad bad girl with a with a guy that you think is not meant for her because they probably knew her before she had a transformation. How? How do we know that? Huh? How do we know he's not meant for her? Because it'll look like it. You ever look at somebody like, dang, how he get her? I don't look at niggas like that. I just, I, I'm, I just assume they just <laughs> have do, a I'd happy relationship. That's all I just assume. I'd be complex. I'm like, damn, what he? You mean perplex, her? not complex, huh? You don't be complex. You be perplexed. Nigga, just using words. Correct me again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm are, never. Are you I'm never. Fun, I'm you never make a, you making fun of my disability? Oh my god. Which one's that? My disability? Don't, don't answer that. Never mind. Just leave it there. You know what I'm saying? I've never. I'm gonna make I, up a disability. I know he is. I know he's about to. I've never. I've never. I've never looked at a guy and be like, "Yo, how did he get?" That's that's some hating shit right there. No cap. It's not hating shit, but that, it's that like, is that, actually, that, that, that is some that, hating that, shit. That is hating. That's some hating like, shit. Yo, how the fuck he get her? No, nigga, what's going that, on? That's not keeping it real. I, 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 a nigga, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna scum at him like, damn, bro, how you get her? I'm, I'm not saying you came head. to him, but you in your mind like. How this nigga get hurt? Like, what the fuck going on? Right, like, like, nigga, come on, bro. That's hating shit. It's like seeing a frog with a butterfly. You're hating though. You hating <laughs> on the frog. I'm not, I'm not hating though. Yeah, you are, because there's something more that the frog provides outside of his looks that justify the butterfly being with him. Forrest Whitaker and Rihanna. Are you gonna raise any eyebrows? I don't know what she what she looks for in a man. I don't know. Forrest Whitaker. All right, John. You hating, dog? Am I hating? The girl is clear. Morgan Freeman, Beyonce. It's it's clear that the Morgan guy. Freeman. It's clear. It's clear that the girl is looking is looking more for it than just looks in a man. When she looks for a man, it's more than just his appearance. It has to be something else. It could be monetary. It could be em- emotional support. It could be spiritual support. It could be. I'm not saying I'm not saying nothing wrong with it, but you ever just look like. You I are. wonder what he said. What's the mouthpiece? What do you the only do? time I think that is when it's someone mad old and someone mad young. See, that's the same thing. You and I think the old like, nigga? is that is that? I don't. That, I don't think about. It. I just assume like, oh, maybe they just fucking because of money. Like that's what I think. She doing it for money. He doing it because he want he want to go out and have fun with a young chick. That's it. And he want his old ego stroke. That's it. But most like if if it, if they both around the same age. And like you like, oh, I would never be like, yo, like, yo, what, what that nigga doing? What's, wait, what that nigga got? I ain't got. What's, what's up with that nigga? What that nigga got? I ain't got. <laughs> I mean, crazy. I don't go that deep. But I'll look at. I'll be like, what did he do? I said, that's okay, okay. He ha- he got to be happy. I'm, I'm like, dang, what did he what did he do? I'll be looking at it. I'm like, dang, congratulations. Oh, you, so you, that's not hating, but it's it, it's not hating. It's the way you said it before. The way you said it before. You don't think congratulations, dog. I don't think you said congratulations. Nah, you don't. That, think that, that doesn't even sound on, like you, man. nigga. What do you mean? Don't sound like me. You see a bad girl and a guy you don't think is can match her, and you think congratulations. I'd be like, it's hope for who, nigga? You're not an average looking nigga. I know. That's what I'm saying. I can get even better. All right, John. 
Like it, my my life is set. This nigga out here ugly having that's still <laughs> I'm above average. I'm gonna be straight. <laughs> You're hating nigga. Yeah, that's hate right there. That's not hating. Yeah, it is. That's nah, hate. I wasn't gonna let you flip it like you was happy for him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I, yeah, because that's definitely no. not. That's definitely not. Congratulations <laughs> to that nigga. I did. That's that's more optimistic for you. Like, yo, if a broke nigga pull that, I got that easy. That's what you're saying. No, no, it is optimistic. That'd be like if, that'd be like when Rage hit a mill. I was like, damn, if Rage can hit a mill, I can hit a mill, man. Congrats, Rage. You let me know I can do it because you ain't shit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like, yeah. ain't shit part was wild. That, I didn't say at the end. It didn't but that's like, what you're implying, though. You're like, uh, yo, niggas, that nigga can do it. Shit, I can do it. You're downplaying who that no, nigga is. That's inspiration. Yeah, you are, it's John. Inspiration. John, you're it's flattery. You're not flattering. You're not it's flattering. Uh, flatter. uh, flattering no, you're is like not. when you make. It's like flattering is the opposite of what you're doing. It's actually quite like, possibly like the opposite. You can do it. You inspire me, so I can do it. Thank you. That's like that's like that's like if I if I go run three miles, you be like, yo, that nigga low. That nigga low, fat as fuck. That nigga gonna run three miles. I know I got that shit. That's what that's like, nigga. And then, I'm then, you, and then you saying like you're flattering him. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's like. Yo, no, you know, if you ran that three mile shit, I know I can do if, it. If you run, hey, thanks, like, dog. Like, look, you go outside right inspiration, now. Inspiration, nigga. And you run a, a six minute mile, I'll beat myself up. But I didn't run five. That's but why you should you should beat yourself because you couldn't run the five before I nah, even like, found out that I couldn't run six. That's running like sports is like inherently competitive, but like dating, you don't have to be competitive with like a stranger. It's, yeah, a stranger, no less. <laughs> He's a stranger. Uh, maybe one of your niggas, maybe, but a stranger. Yeah, I, don't I know. Even, I, don't I know y'all probably saying it now, but we go in public and we'll see somebody and we'll look and you'll be like, "Wow, how did bad hurt?" I, no. I dead ass. That's what you were saying. No, 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 no. The only time I think that, bro, if it's someone mad old and someone mad young, that's the only time I think it. I've huh? never done that in my life. I've never in my life been like. I haven't seen so many lopsided couples lately. I guess it's COVID. <laughs> 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 They've been waiting at the options, <laughs> so. But I mean, hey, before you, I didn't you, say you, you, you label them lopsided couples. <laughs> <laughs> unproportionate. Oh my god, disproportionate. The unproportionate. Un- but can't in that in that in that most relationship that's lopsided in some way because like if the man makes more nah. money than the woman, then it's lopsided financially. Nah, nah. not really. That's that's, that's, a, that's the norm, society norm. But it's still lopsided, no? I'm talking about uh, like lopsided as in like just on the outside appearance of looking in. But isn't that but isn't that also somewhat societal norm as well that the woman would normally look better than the man? They're, they're, they're kind of similar. Okay, then. So what are we talking about? So how's it lopsided? Because of the man don't look like he would be with the woman. Like you, he, I his don't know pockets how might be fat though. Or he might just have mad ribs. Or his that's dick. Or his I, dick. Or his, or his like, dick might be mad big ribs. though. No cap. His dick could be big. That's probably what I think. I don't think about that at all. I think like he probably has. I don't know why Low brought that up. He probably got a big dick. See, I knew you've been in the closet, Low. <laughs> you literally in the closet telling me right now. Yo, you, you know, every closet. episode you come out of, you show you show me a new side of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But even even when I think of like even if even if that was the case, that's still like congratulating yo. That nigga that nigga gotta have a big dick. You just sitting there like I don't know. How you still talking about dick? I don't know how that nigga pulled that off. Fuck, bro. Like, but if he can pull it off. I, I don't be shit. all distressed like I got that uh, shit in the bag, my nigga. If he can do that, I know I can do. That's wild, John. That's hating, nigga. You're uh, a hater, nigga. You did that though. You're a you closet was... hater, my nigga. That's crazy, <laughs> John. You're too competitive with everything. That's the thing. What it is? You're just mad competitive with everything. You're a closet hater, my nigga. That's crazy. You're also, shout out uh, Mitchell and Ness. Those pants, those shorts. I just gotta say, it's just random. I hate those shorts. What? Those Michelin S shorts with the bat like the basketball teams. Okay. Pockets are horrible. No pockets. You bought one? I bought like three or four of them. You have short shorts? I've, I've worn them here before. Yeah, Lowe's Chicago wore, Bulls. Low has wore short shorts on this set. Remember, and I ain't no, see no, it. the um the Brooklyn Nets one, the baby blue Brooklyn Nets. I didn't see it. Yeah, you did. When I had the nah, white shirt I and I had the red, red, white, and blue Air Maxes and the baby blue and B Souls was here and, and Caleb and them. No, I know what you remember that. I don't remember. Hey, wear short shorts. Wear short shorts on the next pod, mm-hmm. bro. No, I didn't have it when, I w- when we went to Miami. No, no, no. But I, no, it's not hating. I just see it. I just be like, I just keep it real. I mean, I, I don't have. Where, no do, you, where do you see the people? Like, you go. You talking about you go to the mall or something like that? Uh, yeah, I'll be at the mall. I'll be like, dang. But sometimes they may be the they may be these friends. Why do you go to the mall? Huh? I haven't yeah, been to the mall. This nigga downplayed it even more. He's like, maybe they just friends. <laughs> God damn it, John! Fuck it. Why do you go to the mall, John? 
<laughs> let's just well, move on. Pretzels? No, you don't. You go to the mall just because of pretzels? I don't shop at the mall no more. That's the real Unless it's a sneaker release, like I go to do a raffle. That's why I don't understand why niggas go to the mall. Why are you shopping at the mall still? It's 2021. Why why y'all niggas shopping at the mall? Because of sneaker releases. I'm not doing that. I'm not catching the Rona for a sneaker. I mean, you out in the Rona don't the Rona don't just stay at the mall. Like the Rona just check in and come at the mall. I've seen those lines. (laughs) I've I've seen those lines, nigga. It might as well just be at the mall. The Rona's everywhere. Yeah, the Rona. You think the Rona just goes to the mall? I've seen those lines. You know, I thought to myself the other day. Um, I was I was looking. I was reading some article that saw a lot of unis are still doing online classes because they don't want to spread the Rona. And I thought like, so if you have to get vaccinated to be on campus, you still can't go to class because it's online. Like, yeah. what, you just never going to have IRL classes again? Because this shit not going away. Basically, what you're saying is you're not going to have IRL no, classes No, they, they're going to just make it mandatory to go to the school, make it one of your, um, you know, you have to have a shot record, and they'll make it one of your mandatory shot records because they just did that with other shots. Yeah, now that's that's crazy. But it's like, no, nah, the, the, the mall is cool if you have something to do there, but it's, it's the most inefficient way to shop nowadays. Most inefficient. And I don't. People just do that shit just just to say they're doing it. It's like an event, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Pull up to the mall and things of that nature. And I wonder if that's an Atlanta thing. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't like that really in Toronto. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask an LA niggas like going to the mall. I know they have like those like stores, like they do in Buckhead. But mm-hmm. I want to know like in in uh, in LA is that like an is that an LA thing too? Just to go to the mall, just to say I went to the mall, because Linux basically just turned into that. And every single time I drive by Linux or I, I look at Linux, I'm like, man, niggas just go to Linux just to say I'm at Linux. You know what I'm saying? And then and then they go there and they valet their cars at the mall, by the way. And then they pull up to a Nike store to and they just Can you imagine doing that? Driving up in a phantom to go valet your car just to go to a Nike store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, like what are you doing? Like, nigga, you couldn't do that at home? You ain't got nothing to do. You're bored, nigga. Nah, people just like going outside. I, the last two times I went to Linux, it was some rapper there. Always some rapper. Oh, and, yeah, always. And they got like a like a Rolls or or like a blacked out I-8 or just something crazy in the valet. And someone always tells you, because people get so excited when someone famous in, in the vicinity, they go like, such and such is here. Yo, bro, yo. Yo, this artist is here, dog. That's his car right there. Yo, bro, the Migos, they're in the jewelry it's store right now. Shit crazy. They, they shut that shit down. And I'm like, maybe oh. whisper like that too, as if like, you see they, the nigga in the, the jean shorts? That's Legend of Winning. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, when we was in, uh, when we was in uh, <laughs> Dallas for uh, D- <laughs> DreamCon, when, when we were going to the after parties, everyone that could do it did it, where they would come up to me. Bro, it's happened dozens of times a night. And they would just tell me random information about a random person being at a random location. Mm. And be like, yo, this person's here at this party. And and I would hear the the way people tell you information is crazy. I guess it just makes them feel good to know that, like, yo, that person was there. Mm. And it's like one of their favorite things to do that. Mm. Um, So I don't know, man. I I, I, I get it a little bit. You got to. There's nothing really to do. Like, where are you going to throw on your crazy fit to go? Where are you going? But why even do all that? Or why not just go to events? It's not school anymore. Shit is online. True. A lot of a lot of it. Oh, yeah. I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, guys, I think this Friday is my, or this Saturday is my high school reunion. Oh, shit. So you got to talk to me about your plan. John, what are you doing? I'm producer. Of course. Actually no, I don't think I think it's next week, next next Friday, not this upcoming Friday. No, what are you? Is that is that, the, is that your two hour mark? What? How 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 deep we are? Oh no, we at one twenty five. All right. What's wrong? You keep knocking on something, nigga. <laughs> That's what's wrong, nigga. <laughs> so it's like you're Why not, do you say yeah. that? You're not up to we something. We asking you what you doing? And you just oh, you want specific. Uh, Why what do are you have doing? To be specific about a nigga cleaning something. What you doing, low? <laughs> What are you doing with your hands, John? Oh, I was beating. You were beating? So let's let now you be specific. What are you beating on? Huh? Cause you the audio listens right now, a nigga telling them in their ear, I was just beating. <laughs> they don't know what the fuck is going on. I just beating my top. Oh, okay. Of the Pedialyte bottle. Are you telling me to stop doing this because it's getting in a in a thing? No, I was just asking what you was doing. Great podcast, guys. I'm, right. just, I'm just trying I'm just trying to Number one in gaming, by the way. Yeah, Number one in know. gaming. You know we're in the sports category? Yeah, be so said that. Oh I yeah, I meant to tell both of y'all this, nigga. Our numbers recently just gone through the roof in on audio. Really? 
I don't know because normally it would take us. I should say this on camera, but normally it would take us a certain amount of like weeks. What are you doing, John? John, 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 John what are you buy a microphone, bro? John, what are you doing, bro? What are John, out? yes, nigga, it's oh. so loud. We hear over here. Oh my god, no, 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 let me stop. I don't I have I my don't, headphones in, so I didn't hear it. Normally, it would take us a certain amount of like, like almost like a like a like two weeks to hit a certain milestone on each podcast. Like we're re- we're hitting in like a few days to the first week. Now, nice Shh. growth. Growth is so spectacular, man. And I don't know what we're doing. Um, I just don't know what's it. I I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know why. What does that mean? Like I don't know why it's happening on audio. You know, like you always we always try to like maybe we're in a playlist things. or something, bro. Maybe you know, man. If we're in a playlist, y'all niggas run that shit up, my nigga. Who knows, bro? No cap, run that shit up, bro. Indeed. Uh, any, anything else before we? Because I feel like I feel like it's a perfect, perfect yeah, time. This is a good end to the pod. Yeah, good end. Yeah, man. Good end, man. So end it. We good didn't end. even do an intro for this, we by the way. No. Hey, L, uh, with all that being said, people, thank y'all. I actually I like it though. That's a four hour twenty five of straight Bro, talking. End it. Straight talking, no cap. As opposed to what? So sometimes we be rambling on a little bit. Sometimes we kind of kill like five minutes with the intro. Straight talking. Like right right off the rip. As soon as the podcast starts, you're going to be like, damn, these niggas talking right out the gate. And the podcast, dog. <laughs> Yo, thank y'all for rocking with us um, with another episode of Peer Peer Podcast. Um, any last words? Uh, uh, Crypto is going like, it's plummeting right now. Is there somebody, I saw a TikTok saying if you, if you, if you invested your um, stimulus check, when the first stimulus check drop in like Bitcoin, your twelve hundred would have turned into like twenty five thousand. Not true. Okay, that's what I thought. Because you know TikTok, I was had to make sure I had to make sure I get the get the right facts. Well, what but what do you think that would have been right now though? Actually, it could potentially be true. It's just highly unlikely. If you just kept it in there and then took it out the day that he made that. Let me just see what crypto shit you and and the power wildlife fire. Uh, Johnny, last words. All right, John. I can't. No, you're not the about truth to truth was gonna come. All right, this nigga. No, gone. I got some. I got some. This is my last word. This is my last word. Remember, the truth set you free. And honesty is what every man maims to be. But sometimes a tree will still grow if water doesn't touch it. But this the sun will John, shine. This John, this the cloud doesn't shut block. Shut up, it. nigga. You're dead ass using this podcast to riz a fucking woman right now. It's fucking <laughs> you wild. Are, it's huh? so wild. This nigga is doing it. Nigga is manipulating a woman it's through a 4X fucking computer right now. By the way, forex. I get forex from when podcast? the Rona started. What's that again? Bitcoin is forex from when the Rona started. Okay, so no, it's not no twenty five thousand. No, mm-hmm. she don't watch the podcast. You said that she does, so you're lying. You just lie, John. No, she don't. All right, John, whatever. Um, the truth will set you free. You'll find out next time. All right, John. Uh, also, my, my final words, I want to thank y'all, man, for supporting me on Twitch this this past Saturday, man. Big, big, big ups to the to the supporters who came out. You tell man. them I'm be on it with you? You weren't on there with me. Huh? I don't even know Agent was there, but I know Agent said he was swinging. No, you you didn't tell me I was going to be on your next Twitch stream. For what? You know, John and Lowe. You don't talk about basketball, John. Huh? You no, I'm going to give basketball. my takes. About what? <laughs> About the upcoming season and my predictions. When does the season start? Huh? When does the season start? November 3rd. No. Actually think- starts. Actually starts um in less than a month. I can't wait to. Less than a month? This is the most time I've this is the most I've ever fiend for um basketball. Um shout out to all my podcasts. People out that's rocking with a strong on all audio platforms, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Also shout out to my YouTube people out there as well. Once you uh enjoy this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the links in the description to go to our clip channel If for uh, for all my people out there who like the shorter form content. But before you leave and do that, make sure you hit the notification bell to join. Know the gang, 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 gang. Mm-hmm. And shout out to my uh, word of my people. Stay up strong with us through these trying times on TikTok because they might shadow ban us and get us the fuck out of here. Just in case they do, you know, follow. make sure you keep up with us over here because we'll, 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 we'll update y'all on a new TikTok. Indeed. And I'm starting to be known for niggas on TikTok. Not, like people like came up to me uh, when I was a QT. He was like, "Yo, you the dude on TikTok?" Yeah. I was like, "Nigga, Snipe, what?" Snipe said he's been getting that a lot since the TikTok with him went uh, dummy. Crazy, yeah. crazy. Oh, that's what John doing. He want Caleb to clip it up. He wants Sir Z to clip it up and put his proposal on on TikTok. No, I don't want that. 
Sir Z, I don't want that. Don't listen to Lost. That's what he want. Say less. Hey, Sir Z, get that shit out pronto, nigga. I'll give you a bonus. Don't worry about it, nigga. Yep, and whatever he take, I'm I'm taking it from you. I ain't give you a bonus. You're gonna lose what you go on. <laughs> hey y'all, we thank y'all as always, man, for, for uh, supporting the podcast. And we'll we'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace.